As so long you... as you need help, okay? <laughs> hey guys, today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Amori's last day of school. I mean, sorry, last day of daycare. Oh my gosh, what a journey it's been. But, I mean, every journey has to end, so. Yeah, so I'm actually headed out. I been seeing this on TikTok, like there's this huge croc sale here in, well not here, um, in Markham, which is about 40 minutes from me. It's a bit of a drive. There's no highway to that city. Um, it's just a main road, so it is a bit of a drive. But um, I'm not like a huge fan of crocs, but lately I've been loving them, and spe especially since you could put those little, I don't know, little buttons on them. Um, so I am going to go and get myself a pair. I don't know which color just yet. I'm thinking either pink or white or like that nude-ish color. Um, I think it's called Bone. Um, I'm thinking to get one of those colors for me and I'm thinking to get one for my mom. Uh, my mom's a nurse and I feel like I've seen a lot of nurses wearing them and it's pretty comfy. I've always had fake Crocs, which I thought were comfy, but when you try the real thing, it's completely different. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with the fake ones and the real ones. Um, so yeah, and I figured that would be a perfect shoe for her for work and I think she wears white shoes so I'm gonna get her one and then my friend Ashley who is pretty far away um, she also wants a pair I also have to go to Victoria's Secret um, in the last vlog you guys would have seen that I bought two bras the lacy one and the chocolate one and the cup was too small so I'm gonna return those um, and thankfully um, when I was at Victoria's Secret I was able to find the right the correct sizes and it was literally the last one in double D um, and I just grabbed them so and I didn't have the receipt to t return these at the time so I figured you know what let me just grab these it's the last ones and when I do find a receipt I'll return the other ones so and then I want to go back to Old Navy because I feel like wait why am I going back to Old Navy I kind of liked their active wear tops and I feel like it's a little bit more comfy for Amari it doesn't always have to be dressed up in like a button-up shirt um, so I may just pass through Old Navy on my way back down to Toronto. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's pretty much what's on my plan right now. I am working on a vlog and it's supposed to go up today. So I'm going to head out to this croc warehouse um, quickly so I can get back in time to get this vlog up. We'll see. All right, guys, I got to update you. So I went to the crocs sale and oh my gosh, before I even turned into the parking lot, I was just like, there are so many cars here. I tried to get there as early as I could to kind of, you know, avoid the huge lineup, but it was just too many people. If you've ever been to Wonderland and had to stand in a line, that was worse, like 10 times worse. Like there probably was like a thousand people in that line. There was no way I was going to stay. Plus I'm overdressed. It is crazy hot in Markham. It's not even that far from Toronto. It is so hot. So <laughs> the plan is to come back tomorrow with an umbrella because many people had umbrellas and I'll have Amari tomorrow since today's his last day of daycare. Um, I'll put him in his wagon, tablet, juice, snacks, and we're going to come like half an hour before it opens to avoid the lineup. It is so hot. It is so hot. Um, and my camera is about to die. But um, there was a mall nearby about 10 minutes away. Um, I was able to get some more uniform stuff for Amari, some more thermals and one jogger um, because I think he's really going to struggle with the the button and the zipper. Um, yeah, and then I was able to get um, a birthday gift for my cousin. So I'll go, I will do a mini haul when I get home and show you guys what I got. And hopefully, oh my god, I'm sweating. And hopefully tomorrow I can get the Crocs. I was trying to go today. Today's the first day. So that way I could get, you know, the right sizes and not have to be told, sorry, we're sold out. But I was seeing people coming out in like, coming out with like huge garbage bags with like clothes and shoes. I didn't know Crocs sold clothes. I didn't know that. But um, yeah, so. Hey guys, so I am back at home. Oh my gosh. It was super hot outside. But anyway, so I got my bag here of stuff that I got from Old Navy and Zara. Yeah, I think that's the only two places I went to that I found stuff at. Um, okay, so to show you, oh, and then I went to Winners, which is like a Marshalls. Um, anyways, so I picked up some joggers for my cousin for his birthday, some joggers for school, very simple. 
And then I picked, them, picked up a pair of sneakers for him. Just some simple sneakers. Hopefully they fit. I gotta get him to wear, to try everything on, make sure everything fits. And then, oh, these are so good. These um ginger candies. So I got this one, I got the original, and I got, then I got a mango flavored one, which I actually wanna try. Let's open this and see how it tastes. So I've only tried the original. And not this brand, a different brand, but it should be the same type of, mm. Oh. Hmm. It's actually good. The brand is Say Good. And then from Zara, I'm gonna try these on and I low key hope that they don't fit so I can return it. Um, but I got like this vest type of top. I don't know how to explain it, but like, it looks like a vest. And I'm thinking it might be too big. But the girl was saying that it's supposed to be kind of big, but I feel like I should have gotten a small versus a medium. But that's what it looks like. It's kind of baggy. I'm gonna try it on and see. So I got it in this cream color. Um, I don't plan to keep both. I'm only gonna choose one, but I wanna make sure. I, I, would, I just wanted to give myself some options. So I got that and I got like an olive color, which the camera's not really picking up the true color. But yeah, that's not the real color. Okay, maybe that's more like it. That's weird, it's not picking up the right color. But anyways, so then I got the olive color, same size. I'll try it on and make sure. And then I just got a little cropped white tee. So, to wear with this um, black dress. It's supposed to be like a layering piece. Um, and this was only 12 bucks, so. So I got that, and that's it from Zara. I'm gonna try on everything to make sure I like them. And then for Amari, I just got some more thermals. I got a little red one. I got a pair of joggers for him. And I got another thermal. And that's it. I think Amari's good now. He just needs his backpack, what I just ordered from Amazon. Um, he has a matching lunch bag that he got when he was like two. Um, so that's perfect because he's never used it. So it's like brand new. And yeah, so that's it. That's all that I got from the mall. I do plan to go back to the Croc uh, warehouse sale tomorrow morning. Um, bright and early. And hopefully, hopefully nobody else has the same idea as me. Um, I feel like everyone rushed out for the first day. Um, and also it being on TikTok and on social media, that doesn't help, right? So now everyone wants to go and everyone wants to go to this sale um so fingers crossed i'll let you guys i'll keep you guys posted on what happens with that but um yeah so that's what i got today yeah i gotta finish editing this vlog that i was working on before i left and i got some chicken the frosting oh and then i got this water bottle why did i get this water bottle again social media i've been seeing so many girls talking about it i don't even know if it's the exact same one but it's very similar but it looks like this you guys might be familiar with it i'm seeing all these girls using it it holds keeps your your cold stuff cold for 24 hours and it keeps your hot stuff hot for 10 hours and i thought this would just be nice to keep at my desk i don't know why did i get this again social media yeah i don't know i don't even know how to take off the the top i have no idea I don't know if it's a screw top. I don't know if it just pops off. Anyways, that's what it looks like. The brand is Voyager. No, the brand is Hydra Peak. All right, guys, so this is what the top looks like. Excuse the office, it's in a mess, but this is what it looks like. V-neck, um, it has like really wide, I guess like a bat wing type of look, but I don't know, is it too big? I don't know, I feel like it might be too big. All right, so this is the cream one. I don't know, I think I like the olive better. And I feel like the cream one looks really big on me, like really baggy. But yeah, that's what it looks like. The cashier was like, oh, those are so cute. Um, they look really good with leggings. I, I don't know. But, so this is the cream one. Not too bad. What are you doing? I'm doing, I'm, I'm You're gonna plant, oh, but don't break the vegetables, Amari. <sighs> Sorry. You just plant it. You're gonna s shoveling. I'm sh I'm shoveling. Yeah, shoveling. Okay, but you don't want to break the plants. 
All right, so we have some green onion here. Oh, by the way, it is Friday. Amari's last day of daycare was yesterday, so he's home with me today. So we're trying to do a little bit of gardening. I mean, it's not a time to garden, but <laughs> we had some scallions here that was in the kitchen growing. So I figured, you know what? He's home today, let's do something Wait. fun. But of course, he wants to do his own thing. Right. All right. All right. Okay, so now we got a plant. Okay, let's put down the shovel. I found some of his old gardening tools that I bought when he was like a year old. No, we're not going to water it yet. We got to put the plant in. Okay, so put this down. Yeah. Let's get the onion and we're going to put it into the dirt. This is not the best place to plant it, but this is the only spot that I could find. Hold on, let me see if there's a better spot. Because normally we plant it over here, but what is this? Yeah, normally we plant right here, our veggies, but it's, as you can see, it's been taken over by some wild, wild plants. And I don't feel like digging this out, so. I'm thinking to put it somewhere else. Back here is just a mess. I really haven't done anything back here because I've been working. Okay. No ready yet. Yes, it's ready. Okay, one second. All right, so let's dig this a little bit better, a little bit deeper. So we take one at a time. Okay, I'll, I'll do one first. So we take one and we put it in the dirt and then you push the dirt on top. But I can't do the above. Like that. Okay, I'll okay, take okay, one. Okay, I'll take up one for you. Actually, maybe we can just... Okay, here. Don't step on the plant. Don't step on the flower. Okay. Put it in the ground. Alright. Good job. Good. Good job. Okay. So then let me give you another one. Alright. Here's another one. Okay. You put it in and you put the dirt around it. Good job. Nice. I might have to fix them a little bit. But that's pretty good. All right, so we got a few more here. Okay. Farmer Amari. Wow. I'm not a farmer. Okay. My bad. My bad. Uh oh. That one didn't go in the dirt properly. Okay, let me help you. All right, so he's got his veggies in. So now we're going to add the water. He's got his little dinosaur water pail. Oh, good job. Oop. That's a lot of water. That's okay. Uh oh, wait, Amari, this one didn't get no water. This, uh -oh. That one didn't get any water. Okay, we gotta get some more water. Ah. Uh -huh. That's a lot of water. <laughs> Anyways, the sun is out. It'll suck it up. Hopefully, they grow. I mean, they've been growing in water, so they should be fine. Okay, let's get a little bit more water. Yeah. To go bigger, bigger, bigger on the air. Yeah, they're gonna grow nice and big. Okay, we gotta get a this one. Yeah, so we did do some peppers. Like nothing's doing well. I honestly haven't been in the backyard. Like everything's that just one overgrown. Is spicy. I swear my hibiscus Mom, didn't come out this year. It's spicy. Roses came out earlier. Mom. Yes. It's spicy. Yeah, these are these are red peppers, hot red peppers, cayenne. But they're green right now, they're not turning red. So, gotta wait. This was also peppers, but we only got a few, maybe three of them. I didn't do very well this year, at all. Cucumber, and struggling. Yeah. I think I left it on too long. And that's, that Tomatoes are looking good. The, the, Tomatoes are good. Some animal got to that one. And oh, there's an ox one! Yeah, don't touch it. I think Somebody a raccoon, raccoon got to it. You can see it's been bitten. Hey, raccoon got to it. 
the owl falls on the inbox to pass. Yeah, it's okay. Hey guys, so we went to the grocery store, um, picked up a few things. I was thinking to make something. <sighs> I can't even think. You oh, be Emma! Okay, so Mari's here. We went to the grocery store. Here's my little helper. Okay, don't stand up. Hi! Okay, so. Uh I'm a mommy. I'm with this mom. My mom is need help. A mom, mom needs help, yeah. Yeah. So my mom is need help, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Amar was my helper. He was pushing the basket in the store. So let's show them what we got, okay? Let's show them what we got. Uh, so mom, uh, we picked up what are these? Amar, what are these? Uh bananas. No, these are Plantain. Plantain. Yeah. So I picked some plantain. Uh, I'm thinking to do some fried plantain. Uh, um, with brown, with corned beef, rice, cucumbers, and some steamed cabbage. Mom. And some fr and some bakes. Mom. AKA fried dumpling. AKA fried bakes. Um, yeah. And I picked up these. This one. What are these? Uh, I don't know. It's a chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. Okay, or chocolate wafer biscuit. Okay. I want to eat it. Okay. <clears throat> Some corned beef. I got four of these since it was like two for two I'm for sorry. something, two for six, or two for something. So. Oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry. Relax. Pick the ground beef. Picked up some luncheon meat. I don't really get this often. Maybe about once a month. <laughs> Okay, what's this one of mine? Uh, hot dogs. Hot dogs, okay. Hot so you dogs. got picked up two hot dogs. And one other hot dog. I forgot his name is. That's okay. And then what are these? I don't think he knows the name of this. Cucumber. Cucumber. Yeah. Cucumber. 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 Whatever. Anyways, I'm probably saying it wrong too. Picked up, what are these, Amari? Peppers. Tomato. Tomatoes. Yeah. Tomato are good. They're good? No. Um, no. <laughs> no. Oh, what is this? Picked up some pear jacks. Oh my god. What is this, Tamari? Pear oh. jacks. Pear jacks. But what is it? What is it? It's juice. 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 But it's called pear jacks. Um. Where is this from anyways? Is it Trinidad? Oh yeah, it is from Trinidad. So this is something that you would see in a Caribbean home, Mom, usually around Christmas time. I want to eat um, it. It's basically Mom. like soda pop, um, but it just has like a nice pear flavor. It doesn't really taste like pear, but it has a nice flavor. Mom. So pick up one of these. I will try to get, get one whenever I'm at that um, whenever I'm at that particular grocery store. And then. Hey. Last but not least, some cabbage. So when I cook, I don't know about you guys, but when I cook, I make a mess. Um, I like to use like every pot and pan, every spoon, every knife. So I make Mom. a lot of mess. Mom. Um, Mom, but the food always tastes real good. You want one? Yeah. Okay, you're not having a whole bar because this has a lot of sugar. Let me see. How much sugar is inside this? 10 grams? Oh, it's not that bad actually. I thought it was giving me way more. But anyways, I'll show you guys what it looks like if you never had this. It's just a chocolate bar. It's a wafer inside. I'm gonna give him half. So it looks like that. It's pretty good. Here. Here. You have half, I have half. Okay? Mmm. Taste it. Let's see. Do you like it? Taste it. Mmm, you like it? Mm hmm No, it's just for me. Mm. Damn. Hmm? Is it tasty? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually really soft. It's not really crunchy like your normal wafer. It's pretty soft. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. Amari's first day of school. Dee and I dropped him off this morning. It was... I think it went well. Um, so many people. Oh my goodness. Thankfully, Amari's school is walking distance, so as long as the weather is decent, I will walk him 100%. 
because driving to school oh my goodness it was like ram packed with cars but anyways um i think it went well um one of our neighbors um kids one of our neighbor's daughter is actually going to the same school so that's really good so as they get older they can walk home together um but yeah i think it went well i'm kind of in a rush i'm kind of all over the place but um i'm heading to a nail appointment i haven't gotten my nails done at all this summer and it's usually something that i do i try to start like in june i end like october and then I'm just a plain Jane for the rest of the year. So I'm starting really, really late this time around. But as you guys know, I was working from home and I was a computer behind a computer. Sorry, I was behind a computer for the whole summer. So having long nails doing that job just made no sense. Um, and I'm also getting my lashes done because I've been wanting to do that too. And I've also been wanting to get my brows um, laminated and tinted. But I don't think I'll be doing that today. I'll just be doing the lashes and the nails. Um, just a little, I don't know, a little something for myself since I haven't done anything all summer in terms of like beauty. Um, so yeah, I'm on, to, on my way to my appointment now. Hopefully I'm not late. I might be. Shoot. Anyways, um, yeah. First day, Amari, Amari was wearing his uniform. I'll insert some photos or a photo because when we got to the school, it was very shaded. We were in a shaded area, so the photos I took there were kind of dark. So I did take some this morning um, at the house that were much brighter. But yeah, I definitely feel like I kind of messed up with his shorts. Yeah, I should have gotten a shorts with a elastic waistband versus just a string because Amari doesn't know how to tie a string. And I had to tie it for him this morning, so I don't know what's going to happen there when he goes to the washroom. I tried to tie it as loose as possible so that way he can pull it up and down. Uh, but Amari, oh my God, I feel like I messed up with that part. I don't know what's gonna happen with him going to the washroom today. So after my nail appointment, I'm gonna um, maybe run over to Walmart and see if I can just find some black shorts or navy shorts that have elastic in the waistband um, so that you know, he can just pull it up, pull it down. Doesn't have to worry about strings or buttons or anything. So I'm glad that I took back the pants with the button because there's no way Amari was going to do that button. No way. Um, so, yeah. Ah, I wasn't thinking. I was not thinking in terms of the washer. You know, because I'm always, well, sorry. When he's home, there's someone to help him, right? When he was at daycare, there was someone to help. But now, going off to school, teacher's not going to the washroom with the kids. So, they're on their own. Like, it's not daycare anymore. They're not babies. Uh, what's going on? Is something happening? Why did I come in this lane, following this lady in front of me? I saw her switch out of the lane quickly, so I did the same thing. Anyways, um, I will update you guys when I get my lashes done. My lashes, the reason why I'm doing my lashes, I, my lashes are very curly and they, uh, I, it looks like I have no lashes. So I always feel very naked. <laughs> I don't know. I have like no eyelashes. They're very, very like thin and really, really curly and they just, I don't know. I like, I like wearing fake lashes because it makes my eyes pop. I, f I feel like it makes my eyes look really, really nice. And I feel like I have nice eyes, but like I have no eyelashes. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, so I will keep you guys posted on what that looks like after it's done. And I'll show you guys my nails. I'll show you the inspiration for my nails. I'm going to an event on Friday. It's a Toronto International Film Festival event. I'm taking my friend Nikita with me. I got invited, so I'm allowed to bring a plus one. So I'm taking her. Um, yeah, so it should be nice. So that's kind of the reason why I'm getting it done as well for that event. So yeah. As for my hair for that event, I'm thinking to do wand curls on blowing out hair. Yeah, I'm just hoping that it lasts because, oh, because it's been so humid here. It's been like 34, like a, which is super hot Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's been super, super hot here. And like humidity has just been eating up my hair. So I'm thinking if I add some heat, it might last a little bit longer. But Friday's actually supposed to be a lot cooler. Um, so I should be okay in terms of humidity. I think I should be all right. 
but I will definitely try my best to film that day since I haven't been doing a good job of the other events I've went to, I've gone to. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you guys posted. Hey guys, so I want to update you guys on the nails. So I'll show you guys. The camera is washing it out. Hold on, let me fix it. Okay, let's see if that's better. Better? I don't know. Anyways, I'll insert a photo because <laughs> me holding it up, I feel like it's not doing justice. But anyway, so I went with a chrome look, like a vanilla chrome, and then, or like a white chrome, and then this one, it's like a snake pattern. I don't know how to explain it, but that's what it looks like. Now, as for the lashes, this is what they look like. Um, mind you, a few have fallen out. <laughs> um, I didn't realize how much I actually touched my eyes, but like, as soon as I got home, I went like this. And one, like I literally, heard, I literally heard it come out. Like I heard like the, <laughs> like a popping sound, but that's what the lashes look like. So I went with a classic look, um, just because I didn't want anything too like heavy, too over the top. I wanted to keep it very natural. Um, and that's what I did. So let's talk about my experience. So with the lashes, I would say, I feel like my makeup is off. Like my shade is not right. Anyway, so just excuse that because I did get a bit of a tan and the makeup that I'm using is probably my winter shade. Anyways, it's okay. For the lashes, it was about a two hour process. Um, I didn't realize how long and how boring um, getting that done is. Um, I think I fell asleep like twice, kinda. Like I felt myself like jump. Cause like I was in between sleep and awake and that's such a weird place to be in because you jump every time you catch yourself. So that happened like twice. Um, I was really bored. She was playing a podcast, which was nice because I was able to listen to that and kind of not be so bored, but I was so bored. I don't know if I could do that again. Two hours of lying down with my eyes closed while someone is putting on lashes. I don't know if I could do that again. I would much rather someone put on some strip lashes for me that last two weeks. <laughs> I would rather do that than do individual lashes. I like them. I like how they make my eyes look, um, but I don't know if I would do it again. Um, yeah. As for the nails, um, I went to Gina, who I've gone to many, many times. She always does an amazing job with my nails. Um, she has a bigger location now, or bigger spot now, um, which is very exciting, very happy for her. Um, yeah, so very happy with my nails, happy with the lashes. Um, yeah, so that's what I did yesterday. I didn't get to show you guys because I was, I was so tired. After sitting down for two hours with my eyes <laughs> and then like another hour with my fingers, I was like, I'm not vlogging. I am too tired. I just want to go home. Today I went back to Old Navy because Amari needed some more stuff for school. Um, a lot of you guys were recommending to get like at least five of everything. So five shirts, five pants, five whatever. And so I did, I went back out and I did that. I got a few more of everything. In the end, I, I now have eight shirts. Yeah, he's good for an entire week. And if I don't wash at some point, then he has at least three extra ones. So I think that's perfect. Um, he has three pairs of shorts and I feel like I, I have some coupons from Old Navy. I will go back at some point and get some joggers for the winter time. But that's it. No more uniform talk. That's it. We're done with uniform. As for content, you guys have been killing me <laughs> with, um, please, 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 can you film that twist out tutorial? I definitely will. I will, I will, I will. Uh, I just can't do it this time around, this wash day, which is gonna be on Friday in two days from now, two days from now. Um, because I'm going to a TIFF event, Toronto International Film Festival event, taking my friend Nikita with me. I think I told you guys that. Um, and for that, I want to do wand curls. So I'm going to be saying bye to this twist out that is super dry and like still pretty defined, but it's really, really dry. Um, saying bye to this rubber band style that is super frizzy. It doesn't even look good anymore. And I just lost a lash. And I just lost a lash. So that's another thing I don't like is that it falls out. And I think that's why they double it up so much. So that way, when you do lose one, you don't really notice it. So <laughs> I was thinking to myself that when I wake up from my sleep, 
I'm gonna have no lashes and they're gonna be all over my pillow. But I actually didn't lose any lashes. Actually, no, I lied. I had one on my face, but that's how it goes. Um, anyway, so I will film this twist out look um, for you guys. I will say to you, I did not enjoy doing this rubber band style. The end result is perfect, I love it. But actually doing it, I don't enjoy. My arms were killing me from like putting them in um, my back but I will film it um, probably next week. Yeah. Depending on how long this one curl look lasts, we'll see. But I will film it for you guys because it's such a cute style and a lot of people loved it. And I've been loving wearing my hair out. Like it's been really easy. Um, at night, I literally just put on my satin scarf. So my hair is like pulled back like this and then I put a bonnet on top. And I just wake up and shake it like that, and we're good to go. So, really, really easy to do. Um, oh, an update on Amari's first day. I don't think I told you guys. So my mom ended up picking him up yesterday because I was doing my nails. I had an appointment at 4, and he was done at 3.30. Um, but anyways, he didn't eat his lunch. I gave him some good food macaroni pie and stew chicken, good food. Um, he loves it, but I, I guess first day, so much going on, he didn't eat his lunch, so he brought that home. Um, but he ate all his snacks. He had the little Ritz with the cheese inside, little Ritz sandwich, whatever, that. He had some bits and bites, I think that's what they're called. So it's like pretzels and cheese sticks and little wafer, wafers? mini wheats like you know that little mix that little mix oh something similar to it is Chex mix Chex mix Chex mix something like that anyways i'll put a picture on the screen that's really good anyways he had that little mix and then he had some tangerines um so he ate all of his snacks he drank half of his water but he didn't eat his lunch so today i decided to do something a little bit different i did a cheese sandwich which he really likes, he loves cheese, so I'm hoping that he ate that and all of his snacks. I think he would. And to be honest, the, th the hot food that I gave him yesterday was in a thermos and he was struggling to open that. So I don't know if that's what happened, that he couldn't open it and he just said, I'm gonna have my snacks. Because the containers that the snacks is in is really easy. So the little, you just flip them, flip up the sides. Um, so maybe that's what's ha maybe that's what happened yesterday. This time the sandwiches are in a little Ziploc and I didn't fully zip it all the way. I left it halfway open so it would be easy for him to you know open. Um so we'll see. We'll see. Um he seems to like it. I mean, he's been in daycare so it wasn't so much of a big transition for him. Um but yeah, so far so good. No complaints. Um him going in today was a lot easier than yesterday. Not that he was fussy or anything, but I could see like the look on his face was like, oh, don't leave type of thing. Even though he was saying bye, I could see like he looked a little sad. Um, but today he was pretty much all smiles. And, you know, he did the little handshake with DNI that we have. <laughs> I should show you guys one, a little handshake. I don't know if it, D started it with him or what. But anyways, we do it every time. And he went in and that was it. So, yeah, that's an update on Amari's first day. I don't want this vlog to be talky. Um, right now, I was kind of in my little journal, my planner, planning out the rest of my week. When I get Amari, I need to get groceries um, and make dinner. So, yeah. Anyway, so that is it. Um... Oh, maybe I can show you guys what I'm gonna wear to the TIFF event. I'm not gonna put it on today, but you will see you will see me wearing it at the TIFF event. But I wanna show you guys what I will be wearing. Okay, let's go to my room. Everything that I'm gonna be wearing for this event is from Shein. Shein has amazing stuff. So I plan to wear these nude heels. They're clear. They look like this. So that's what they look like. I've never worn them, by the way. But that's what they look like from Shein. So I'm wearing those. And then I showed you guys the purse, the clear purse in my last vlog from Shein. 
when I was saying like, oh, Shein's purses are trash. <laughs> um, so, ah. all right. So I'm gonna be pairing my dress with this clear purse, which I think would work, which would work really nice together. Um, I do also have this purse. It's just a simple black clutch, but I feel like this clear one would be better. And for the dress, me holding up is probably not going to do it just justice. So I will insert a photo of the model wearing it because I don't have a picture of me wearing it. So I'll just show it to you guys quickly. But again, you guys will see me actually wearing it when I go to the event. It's a very cute dress, very simple, $26, and it looks so good on. So let me turn it up around. Wait, wrong way. See, me holding it up, you guys won't be able to tell how it really looks, but it's such a nice dress. Oh gosh, this is terrible. But it's a really nice dress. Believe me, it is nice. So you can wear it off the shoulder or up. Um, it has a really nice high slit. Anyways, I will insert the photo so you guys can see. But that is what I'm wearing to the event. And then I'm going to have my hair in wand curls, blown out, then some really nice wand curls. And I think it should look really nice. And then my friend Nikita is also wearing a black dress. Um, and she naturally has curly hair. So knowing her, she probably will have her hair down. Um, I don't know what she's doing for shoes just yet, but she is the queen of heels. So I'm sure she'll have something, a really cute outfit. All right, so that is what I'm wearing and my camera is done. Hey guys, today is Friday. Friday, today is the day for the TIFF event. So I was under, under, I, oh gosh, I was under the impression that it was gonna be the same event that I went to like six years ago. I'll insert some photos from that. Um, but yeah, I went, I went to that event six years ago and that was pretty much a party with like a bunch of different celebrities and like, yeah food drinks you know all of that stuff this time around it's not a party at least i don't think so it's a screening for um or premiere i should say of for this new movie that came it's coming out um it's a thriller i forgot the name of it fine fest fine finesse um, something anyways um so yeah that's what it is so i'm taking my friend nikita with me i was able to bring a plus one with me so that's great i'm probably gonna head to her place for seven Uber is going to pick us up maybe for eight and then we're going to head downtown. I already blew out my hair. I blew it out this morning. I just have it in these two like twist um, pinned up in the back. I need to blow it out one more time just to get it really, really straight. Um, I'm going to be doing wand curls, which I plan to not to vlog, but to film for you guys. Um, I used OGX, not OGX, oh my gosh, Olaplex products to do my hair. Um, that's pretty much what I use when I'm using heat. Um, and I use a Rev Air blow dryer to get it stretched out. Um, I think I have a picture of what my hair looked like prior to putting it in these little twists. Yeah, Amari's here. Some of you guys were asking about him. He's here. He's just, he just came in from school. Um, he's just having a little bit of a snack and watching a show. He's gonna go over to my parents' house in a bit. All right, update on the lashes. <laughs> Half of this one is gone, but like it's missing like right here. There's no lashes right there. This one is okay. I should show you guys the inspiration to these lashes. I feel like they're a little bit too heavy for the look that I was going for, but they're okay. So I'm gonna have to go in and add my own lashes right here. Just so it doesn't look too crazy. My hair looks so dry. Also, I'm noticing that my... Um, my hair color, <clears throat> my hair, my natural hair color is coming back in. Cause you can see it's mostly black, but then like right here, it's like brown. And that's the area that looks dry. Like you can kind of see it's starting to get brown in some areas. I'm definitely gonna re-dye it cause I really like that look. And it lasts like a good year. So I'm definitely gonna go back and get it done. My hair looks so dry, oh my gosh looks so bad and that's a, that's one of the reasons why i dyed my hair black because my natural hair color is like this weird ashy brown black color and it always looks dry even when it's like super moisturized and super soft it always looks dry 
it's like the most annoying thing and like I would add so much oil to it to it and because of the color it would just look dry but my hair is dry right now because I didn't put any product I just blew it out hey guys so I'm in the car this hairstyle was a complete fail it's already starting to puff up I tried to film it. I only got a few pieces. I'll insert it for you guys, but it was a fail. I definitely want to recreate this another time. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt. I've been scared to live cause some people never learn. But they're not gonna, not gonna watch. My problem was is that I made the sections too big. My hair is just too thick to do them big. So I should have done them a lot smaller like what I did in the front, which you can't even tell because it's all poofy now. Oh my gosh, I'm so annoyed. But anyways, it looks okay. It should be enough for, you know, taking taking photos on the red carpet and then going into the movie. So I just need it to last me until I get downtown. Um, I feel like I should have just did my hair at my friend's house. But anyways, it's okay. So I'm heading to her house now. Oh, oh my gosh. I'll show you guys what the dress looks like um, at some point. But it's a cute little dress from Shein. You guys saw the heels. I got my little clear purse with me. Oh my gosh. I was crunched for time. So that, that was also my problem. I did not think this whole thing through. Filming. I washed my hair, conditioned blew it out, curled it, like it was a whole process. So, and I had to pick one more from school. So anyways, it looks okay, not too bad. Makeup looks okay. Uh, anyways, you guys will see more later. Hey guys, today is Tuesday. It's not, it's not a very nice Tuesday. It's kind of gloomy. It was raining like crazy, um, raining so hard. But anyways, I went to the gym this morning. I just did cardio and core. The gym was nice and quiet, which was nice. I'm guessing because everyone's back to school and stuff. No one's in the gym and summer's like ending. But anyways, went to the gym, then I went to do some groceries. Um, I was feeling bad, like Amari has been eating cheese sandwiches for the past week. I'm like, he's not complaining or anything. He's eating all his food. I'm just like, I feel like I need to switch it up. So I got some like turkey slices, some cheese, um, bread, different type of snacks like some raisins some strawberries some grapes so i'm gonna switch it up this week and see how that goes i got macaroni and cheese but i don't think he's gonna eat the hot food which sucks because he really likes hot food but he's doing okay so at least if he has a really good breakfast and a really good dinner lunch can be you know kind of eh. um so he's okay he's eating everything so that's all right but I was feeling bad that he's eating the same thing every single day. So I'm just going to try and switch it up this week and see how he does with that. I may try to do a hot lunch one more time just to see. Um, but I knew I know that they have like pizza days sometimes. Um, I don't think they've had one yet. We should be getting like an, whatever, a letter or whatever email when they are doing when they are offering the pizza lunches. Um, I know he'll love that. He loves pizza. I have been meaning to like write in my planner, like really plan out my weeks because I've been slacking. Um, but to be honest, the first week of school has been a little bit crazy. It's kind of been all over the place. I didn't plan out that week properly. And I'm so not used to picking up Amari so early um, because he usually, I'm, I'm losing like three, four hours now that Amari's in school. Um, because with his other daycare, he was going to daycare from 7 to almost 6 o'clock. Now it's 9 to 3.30. So I'm losing, you know, I'm losing some hours. And now with me trying to go to the gym in the morning, I'm losing even more time. So I really need to like <laughs> crunch my days or cram my days. Um, I just need to plan it out better, that's all. Um, and try to just do my grocery shopping on the weekend and not during the week because it takes up about an hour or so of my day i was going to film today i don't think i have time because by the time i start setting up and all that i gotta grab grab amari so again uh i gotta plan my days a little bit better um but i did want to share some stuff with you guys i did get two packages from the p.o box i want to open them on camera 
Something else I want to tell you guys and I can't remember at this moment. So I'll start with this box. This one right here. So, okay, so right away I'm seeing that it's um, products from Function Beauty. I've always wanted to try their stuff. So I got four products here. Is it called Function Beauty? Function of Beauty. Okay. And they give me like they gave me like a newspaper. That's different. Our biggest drop yet. So yeah, some information on the inside. So I'm just gonna put that to the side. Now let's get to the goodies. So I've never tried their products. So the first thing I have here is um, a recovery conditioner mask, and it looks like this. Very nice. I'm just gonna check quickly if there's protein because when there's protein, I'm very afraid to use the products. Because it says recovery, I'm guessing that there's, pro I'm guessing that there probably is protein. Anyways, the, f the print is so tiny, I can barely read it. I'm gonna have to like Google this. Okay, so let's see. Well, this is different. It comes with a little spatula. That's, that's different. It smells good though. I don't know if you guys have used their product. Oh, this is thick. Ooh, this smells nice. It has like a perfume, oops, perfume, perfumey scent, I guess you could say. It smells nice though. But that's a little bit odd, having the little spatula for like a hair mask. That's, that's different. It reminds me of like a relaxer. Okay, so next we have the Curl Exclusive, no, the Curl Executive, Curl Defining Hair Goal Concentrate. What is this? Oh, so it seems like these two go together. That's why you have the little spatula. So you pour this into this and you mix it. Interesting. Curl defining. I don't know, this is, that's, that's different. Okay, anyways, I have to read more about that. Okay, so next we have the Shine Queen, Shine Enhancing Hair Goal Concentrate. How to use pour. So it seems like you also put this into, I don't know. Okay, anyway, so this is another thing. It's concentrated, so you gotta mix it into, I guess, like a conditioner or something. Okay, and then another one, scalp hydrating hair goal concentrate. So this is for your scalp to help calm a dry scalp. Interesting. And then this one is the moisture shot. So moisture boosting hair goal concentrate. This is very, very different. Okay, I'm gonna open this one so we can actually see what they look like. Ow, my nails. Oh, so this is what they look like. So it's literally like a shot of magic. You guys see that? So that's the liquid inside. So you just peel off the tab and pour it into your your conditioner, I guess? I don't know, I've never used this. This is different. Okay, that's very, very different. Okay, so that's what they look like. All right, so the last thing is in this bag. If I remember correctly, I think I did, I think what the, the way Function of Beauty works is that you do a quiz and like they ask you if you have dry scalp, if you have coily hair, straight hair, and like they customize the products to your hair type, um, and, like your scalp type. So. I completely forgot about that, that I did that a while ago. So these products are custom made for my hair type, my hair texture, all that. Um, so I have no idea how these are gonna work, but I'm actually really interested in seeing how they work. Um, it smells nice. This is different. I've never seen a shampoo bottle like this. So this is the opening, if you guys can see. So you just squeeze it, I guess. It comes out of that little opening. Oh, it's almost like a deodorant. So you like twist it and that's how you open it and that's how you close it. I'm trying to show you guys. See, it's closed. It's open. Interesting. Anyways, so shout out to the Function of Beauty for those products. I definitely want to try them out. I'll, let, I'll keep you guys posted. All right, so the next box, I believe it's from Maui Moisture because I am collaborating with them again this month. So stay tuned for that video. If you haven't seen my previous video I did with them, it's on TikTok. Um, I'll try and remember to link it down below, but yeah, definitely check it out. Um, all right, so the next thing is from Maui Moisture, of course, and it's the Revive and Hydrate Shea Butter line. 
this is the sh con this is the conditioner and this is one of my favorite lines the purple and i think the orange one those are the two lines that i really really love um and they work really well on my hair type or on my hair not tight but my hair um so that and then we have their shampoo oh that's it just shampoo and conditioner so that is from my moisture so shout out to them for that i don't know what i'm doing oh, okay so i do know what video i'm going to be doing with maui um, but it'll be a surprise for you guys um but lately oh sorry so i went to an event recently i went to a tiff event which i told you guys about i didn't get to vlog that because there was nothing to vlog it was a movie theater so i couldn't vlog um yeah, it was a movie theater. The movie was good though. I definitely enjoyed it. My friend who went with me enjoyed it as well. It was very different. I was expecting it to be more like a party because um, that's what I that's what it was when I went six years ago. But this time it was just a movie premiere. Uh, my nails are holding up. They still look really good. Um, the eyelashes, I ripped those. <laughs> I ripped them off like the very next day. Or that same night, actually. I just, I started like, using my um, cleansing balm and like rubbing the hell out of them and I, I pulled them off. I, I took off some of my real lashes <laughs> because it's actually attached to your lashes, but it's pretty much gone. I may have like one or two that just won't come off, but for the most part, they need to go. I didn't like how they looked. They were just too, too big, too thick. It wasn't natural looking for me and yeah. It's okay. It was. I honestly only put them on for that event, um, but I think I'll stick to my strip lashes. I think I will stick to strip lashes from now on that I can just put on myself that cost like ten dollars versus whatever I paid <laughs> to get those ones on. So my hair was in one curls. I tried to film that. Mm, I was in such a rush and mm -hmm. I was so frustrated and so hot. And ah, anyways, I did film a little piece of something. Um, but I ended up, those guan curls, they lasted maybe a good solid four days, but it got so big because of the humidity. I had to, I had no choice but to tuck it away. So I just created this simple, it's kind of reminds me of like a Hollywood style from like, I don't know what, what decade, sixties, I don't know, seventies, I don't know, but just created two flat twists. At the front it's frizzy now because i was out in the rain um and i kind of just did two jumbo twists at the very back of my head and pinned them up um i definitely need to do something with my hair i'm not liking this style um i feel like it makes me look really old <laughs> so i'm gonna redo it i'm probably gonna do a twist out i'm gonna leave the two twists at the front but refresh them and then the back will be in some like mini twists for a twist out and that's that <laughs> 